Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, why aren't we in focus? This is why I don't use this camera. Focus. Okay. Not that it's great to focus because I've got no makeup on. But it is Saturday. I'm going to attempt to film a vlog today. We'll see how I go. It is just after 10.30. I have already had breakfast. I have been to Pilates this morning. And I'm just attempting to film a video for day seven of Vlogmas to upload. So I'll show you that in a second. I have plans to go into work today. I just got to do a little bit of tidying up because I'm moving classrooms next year. I'm going back to teach prep or foundation as it's called in Victoria now. I'm very excited about it, but it does mean I have to pack up my classroom and move across the hallway, but I can show you that a little bit later. It's been a really hectic week. I have been attempting to read for Tis the Season a Thon, but I really have not had the energy to even read. I've mostly been binge watching Stargate Atlantis because I needed something comforting. Also this week was a bit of a challenge because I have not been feeling 100% for the last couple of weeks. And I don't know if you've noticed, and I've, I've only just noticed it when I'm editing my vlog and even now as I'm talking, that I've sounded really out of breath in a lot of my videos recently. And I found out the reason why that is because here in Australia it is, well, it's supposedly summer, but we've had a really long spring and it's really, really bad for hay fever. And uh, on, Thursday basically I found out I have hay fever related asthma and it sucks because you know breathing is great so that's been why I sound really weird and out of breath all the time so hopefully that will get better now that I have some medication and Ventolin and things like that but that's been an adjustment and trying to work that out I actually had to take half a day off work on Thursday to go to the doctors because I couldn't breathe so that's been fun but yeah I thought I would see if I can do a bit of a day in the life. Maybe this will turn into a weekend vlog. I don't know. I'm just going to see how it goes and play it by ear a little bit. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. So if you excuse the total giant mess that is my kitchen table at the moment, I'm currently editing the day seven vlog, which is my DIY Christmas gifts for aromatherapy, which should already be up by the time this vlog goes up. There will be a part two to this. I'm just putting it all together, checking it at the moment. That's a bit of vlogception for you. And I'm gonna try and upload this. Apparently Australia Post has sent me an email saying that I'm going to get a package delivered today. So I'm not gonna go into work until, I don't know, maybe one o'clock, see if this package arrives. I know it's coming from Scholastic. It's one of the review copies that I requested. So we'll see. Okay, so my Scholastic package arrived. So this is the Marvel Museum, the story of the comics celebrating 80 years. So I'm excited to have a look at this. I'm reviewing it, but I will also be then taking it into school because I have a lot of kids who love Marvel. Okay guys, I am in at school and I'm about to show you the disaster that is my classroom. So this is currently the state of my half packed up classroom, which is kind of doing my head in because one, it looks terrible and it is a huge ass mess, which I can't stand. But this is what happens when you have to move. Thankfully, all of these things here are actually for next year's class. So that's just the supplies for next year. So that's not mine. I don't have to deal with that. But it's just everything else that I have to deal with, including packing things up. But all the fabrics come down, all the chair bags are off. Over here, this giant mess in the corner is their stop motion studio sets because they've been making stop motion videos for the last couple of weeks. And they're still going, even though they were due to be finished on Friday. They're, they're still going. On a more positive note, I'm actually only moving to this classroom right there. So once everything is set up I can actually just walk things across which actually makes it a lot easier so this is one of the prep classrooms I've actually taught in the mirror image of this classroom down the other end of the building so a few years ago actually in this building I've taught in that classroom this classroom this one and next year I'll be teaching in this one so I'm basically collecting rooms and while I'm here I'll show you guys these we are painting terracotta pots as part of the kids' Christmas gifts. So they've painted them all. Some of them turned out really amazing. This one has a fish aquarium sort of scene going on with some seaweed. I love that one. This one has a wolf and a moon scene, which is gorgeous. Lots of strawberries, lots of dots, because they just were really simple and easy for the kids to do. And then I really like this one because it kind of looks like a galaxy. It's very pretty. Right now though, I've got a list of things to do. I'm gonna prep for my CRT slash class split. I don't know what's happening on Monday when I'm not here in the classroom. So I'm gonna prep for that to occurrences. We also have the carols night on Monday night which is going to be massive and it's going to be 37 degrees which mm, we cancelled our, our first carols night because it was the uh, the night that was supposed to have torrential rain and be four degrees and we've moved it one week later and it's supposed to be 37 degrees. Melbourne. After that I'm going to try and move one of the white bookcases behind me 
into my new classroom because that's empty so it's easy to move. I might even try and move the second one although I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be strong enough to lift it on my own so that might have to be a Tuesday job. But yes I'm going to try and get this into a state where if someone is in my classroom they can actually find things because even I can't find things at the moment and that's a bit of a problem. Okay it's about two o'clock and I am calling it quits in here. The room looks marginally better. I have got some things away. I have moved my bookcase into the other room and some of my teacher resources. So that's done at least for now. Yeah, this is about as good as I'm gonna get this weekend. Looking around the room. This area is a little bit neater. I've managed to get up the schedule for Monday when I'm not here. And this is completely redone because I've moved the bookcase that was over here before. And I've left all my CRT notes and I think it is time for me to go home. Okay, it's like two hours later and I'm really out of breath. I've just been to the supermarket, got a couple of things for dinner. I'm not going to do anything fancy tonight. And I also got some things to make up some little thank you gifts for my team at work. So I lead the English team. So I've just got some things to put together, mostly just chocolates for them which I might try and do tonight. I'll hopefully try and film that as well. Even though I feel like I haven't been unproductive, the reality is I have been productive. I've gone, I've done some exercise, I've done some stuff in at work. That's productive. And I have to tell myself that because you know, this is real talk. I'm gonna try and clean up a little bit in the kitchen so that I can put together these gifts, get that done. I might do some card writing tonight, I may not, I don't know yet. We'll just see how I go. Wow, this lighting makes me look really pink and I apologize, I have not brushed my hair. I have had a shower, I've had dinner, I have edited a video, I'm uploading another video and now I'm going to read. It's 6.30 and I've decided I'm going to read another one of the NetGalley arcs which I had on my Tis the Seasonathon readathon which is A Christmas Wish and a Cranberry Kiss at the Cozy Kettle, I think by Liz Eels, I don't know. 
Apparently it's women's fiction. I don't know why I have so many women's fiction things on my neck alley TBR, but what can I do? So I'm going to try and read that. I think it's about 258 pages. And if that gets done, I am going to continue to binge watch Stargate Atlantis because, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get through the rest of my Tis the Seasonathon TBR. Okay, sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. I am about 16% of the way into A Christmas Wish and a Cozy... Christmas Wish and a Cranberry Kiss at the Cozy Kettle. And honestly, I, the main character in this is doing my head in. This is book three in the series anyway, and I haven't read the other two. You don't really need to. You're getting plenty of backstory as you go along. And the main character, Rebecca, works in the Cozy Kettle, which is a bookshop slash coffee shop in a small town in England. And she's essentially run away from all of her responsibilities because her boyfriend left her for one of her good friends and she had a meltdown at work basically had a breakdown and has gone to live with a friend in this town and got this job at the cozy kettle but she's so timid and shy and anxious that it's actually stressing me out like i'm a shy timid person generally but even this is too much so i'm i'm really curious to see how i go with this book hi guys just finished the book which has the really long name that i always stuff up it was an okay read it was just a main character I really didn't particularly like very much. So, well, it's done. I'll review it. And it's another one ticked off my net galley list, which is good with me. I am going to put some Stargate Atlantis Season 2 on. Good morning, guys, and happy Sunday. It is nearly 9 o'clock. I've had a big sleep in. I didn't sleep very well or it took a long time to get to sleep last night and I sound really dodgy so this is gonna be fun because I've got to film a whole stack of videos today but it's Sunday morning I'm gonna have some breakfast I've just done job two of the day job one of the day is always to make my bed but job two was to water all of my house plants so I'll show you where they are if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I or you'll have seen that I water my plants in my shower because there's so many of them these are just the ones that I can move. I do have one more pothos that just stays where it is. That thing's the dressing and it's looking pretty grim at the minute. But I will have a proper plant video later this month to show you guys. But yeah, they've just had their, their morning drink. So I'll leave them here for about an hour and then I'll pop them back so they can get some sun. So currently my bedroom is in a state of complete disarray. But I have just finished filming three Vlogmas videos. Here I've done my wrap up and... An anticipated books list and another reader tag. I'm about to go and film something else. I've got to clean up the giant mess that's behind me as well. But I'm also trying really hard not to move too quickly so that I don't get out of breath. So in the next round of Steph is a Terrible Vlogger, um, it's like quarter past two on Sunday now. And I haven't updated since the last time I spoke to you, which I think was like nine o'clock. But that said, I have filmed maybe six or seven videos for vlogmas which is good because next weekend I won't be able to film at all so I'll have basically two complete weeks with the exception of my books beside my bed video done and that makes me really happy so now it's just a process of editing and getting everything uploaded which I can do during the week. Okay, so this weird concoction is a recipe from Clean and Delicious, and I'll try and leave a link to the video where I saw it today. It is a turmeric and manuka honey immunity bomb sort of thing. So you make it, you can store it in the fridge, and then you can have it in hot water, or you can have it in juice and things like that. And it's just meant to give yourself a bit of a boost. And it's got turmeric, garlic, uh, garlic powder, ginger powder, there's some cayenne, some black pepper, and manuka honey. You can use freshly ground of any of these, but I didn't have that, so I just used the dry ingredients. 
and I think I'm gonna have it in some hot water in a minute with some lemon juice because my throat's killing me. This is what it looks like. It's actually really quite nice with the lemon in it. It's got a bit of a kick with all the pepper, but tasty and hopefully will help with all of my health problems or at least help boost my immunity a little bit. it's 5 30 and i'm doing a quick check-in so you guys would have seen me meal prep my overnight oats which i make every week it basically forms my recess or breakfast depending on when i get to eat it sorry i'm all red now i've been running around i also decided to make some oatmeal and raisin cookies which i got that recipe from clean and delicious as well the recipe that she had was completely vegan friendly i think it had like a, a chia seed egg or something like that i didn't end up doing that because i've got eggs i eat eggs I just, I just put the egg into it, but it smells delicious. It smells so much like cinnamon in my kitchen and I haven't made oatmeal and raisin cookies for so long. So I'm really looking forward to eating them. Okay guys, it's about 10.30, I'm gonna go to bed. But I did wanna update you before I close off this vlog. I read the Bromance Book Club. It was really fun and entertaining and just kind of generally funny. And I'm glad that I read it because it was just a nice palate cleanser. I also managed to sneak in two episodes of Stargate Atlantis while I was tidying up my apartment. I've got some people coming around after work tomorrow for a couple of hours. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get some sleep because I've gotta go into the city tomorrow for a conference. And apparently I've agreed to talk on a promo video for the course that I'm doing. So I need to sleep and then read up on those questions on the train in to the city and then plan out what I'm gonna do. So thank you for following me along on my weekend vlog. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'll have to edit it tomorrow, but we will um, we'll see how it turns out. So I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope that you're doing well no matter where you are in the world. But until then, have a great day.